Christmas. Um, you know, went to went to college, got my um, uh, A levels, as you get told to do. And obviously, as a kid, like a lot of people, I wanted to be a professional footballer. Right? Did it happen? Well, I was close. I was close. I got to semi-professional. Um, and in the meantime, I got some PT qualifications, and um, I did a bit of travelling. Right? Because that's what I like to do. So that was me growing up. Massive, massive turning point in my life. Should have done two clicks. Was when my daughter was born. Shout out to all the parents in the room. So obviously when you have kids or a child, your whole life turns upside down, right? You're responsible for somebody. What you do affects their life, affects their future. I was a dad. Shit. <laughs> what am I going to do? I didn't really have a career. I had to do something for a future. So, I had a few friends in the, in the military. So I went into the Bournemouth Careers Office and I thought, I've got some PT qualifications. So I walked in there and I said, I want to be a physical training instructor in the RAF. And the guy sat there in his uniform, looking very smart. And he went, what about firemen? And I was like, what, am I speaking German? <laughs> no, physical training instructor, I want to be in the RAF, physical training instructor. He said, have you thought about any other careers? And I thought, why is he putting me off this? And he said, look, I'm going to be honest with you. He said, we haven't had a physical training instructor pass through the Bournemouth Careers Office in 10 years. He said, one in 125 people will get in in this job. And I went, yeah, that's me. That's me, I can do it. And he went, okay, we'll carry on with the interview. So we had the interview, I got through the medical, I went to Cosford, which is just down the road, RAF Cosford, and I had a three and a half day, what they call a vetting, so fitness tests and, you know, um, uh, interviews, swim tests, which I'm just scraped through, loads of things. Anyway, at the end of it, they didn't tell you where you've got in your not or not, but I had a phone call about a week later. Congratulations, you've got in from the careers office. He goes, I can't believe it. First person in 10 years. I've always been quite self-motivated, but this little girl here, yeah, I would do anything for her. So that was my motivation. So as Emma's just saying then, when you're talking about children, just look into their eyes. And then, someone else come into my life, my beautiful wife, Jade. Um, we got married just over two years ago. And again, you know, those of you who are, you know, got partners, fiancés, husbands and wives, you know, again, your outlook changes. You know, you, you have to stop being selfish, put other people first. So again, that was another reason for why I'd never give up. Well, whatever I do, not just the business, whatever I do, while well, I'll always try and succeed, while well, I'll always give 100%. So that was another one, that was another turning point. I'll just do this. Who's got um, partners in the business that don't support them? Just show of hands. Right. Are they all male? So, so, so all male partners, yeah? Do me a favour, get them to message me. <laughs> Honestly, get them to message me. I'll tell them uh, what this business is really about and how it can help. But honestly, if you haven't got a supportive partner in this business, or family, because that's I've been there, right? I've been there. It, it's hard. It's a struggle. You need that support. And not my best advice to you guys is get them to an event. Get them on a live. Just show them that, look, if you don't want to join me, that's fine, but just have a look, please. Just support me, that'd be so nice. All right? So, that's my story, and obviously, along come Juice Plus. Five years ago, I'm just a normal lad. I'm not business-minded, I'm not sales-minded. I love sport, I love fitness, I love helping people. But online marketing? Network marketing, mobile level marketing, whatever it was my mate was promoting online, I thought he was bananas. I was like, what are you doing, mate? Can you just stop posting on my timeline if you're doing my edit? And he's like, have a look. Have a look at this product. Have a look at my website. Have a look at the business. I went, have a look at yourself, mate. <laughs> I said, come on, have a look at yourself. It, it, took, it took me a couple of weeks to have a look. And I was trying to find something wrong with the, with the 
the website, with the products, with the business. I was trying to find something wrong with it. I couldn't. I felt like a bit of an idiot and I said, right, head down. Come on, Jake, tell me a bit more. How does it work? And he said the magic words. How would an extra £100 a month before Christmas, how, what would you spend that on in your daughter? And I was like, you got me, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I could spoil her, I could get an X, Y, and Z. So I jumped in, I got on the products, and I joined the business at the same time. Now, we've heard this quite a few times today. <gasps> well, obviously, when you join the business, you've got to be a product of a product, yeah? We all agree with that? Yeah. All right? It's so important that you've got 100% belief in this product. 100% unwavering belief. You can speak to anyone and go, I can help you. I can help you. I can help you. Whatever it is. You've got to have that belief when talking to people. You don't have to have a six pack, all right? That's not, that's not, it doesn't matter. Not that I've got one, not now anyway. Um, but, you know, it's not about that. It's going on your own journey. Create your own story, yeah? Whatever it may be, so you can share that with as many people as possible and help and inspire as many people as possible. Um, so, actually, three months into the business, I was, liking the, I was at an event like this. And I was sat at the back of the room. Let me see if I can see someone sat at the back. I had my arms folded. Whose first event is this today? First event, quite a lot of you, brilliant. So I was like the most skeptical person ever. Loved the products, but the business, I was like, will it last? You know, is, am I in a cult? Like, I, 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 I still I didn't understand. I wasn't exposed to it. I wasn't exposed. I was sat at the back with my arms folded, like, looking at people like Emma on stage, thinking, wow, they're inspirational. Actually, I can, re I can relate to that. And then there's this one girl at the end, and this will always, I'll always remember this point, and she was telling her story, and she was just about to walk off stage, and Alex, of all people, Alex Webb, asked her how much money she'd earned. Now, I can't repeat this, but it was a six-figure number. And instantly, I went, that's a life-changing amount of money. Life-changing. What could you do with all that money? So then I started thinking, that's a deposit for a house. I've never been a homeowner. My daughter, when she comes and stays with me, she can have her own bedroom, rather than like, paying for hotels and military accommodation. So I said to Jamie, I'm like, Jay, how do I earn six figures in the next year and a half? He said, you've got to build a team. You've got to build a team. Speak to as many people as possible about the business. I went, right, how do I do that, Jay? He went, well, you're quite good at speaking, so just uh, put on some events. So this is actually my second event that I put on. My first event, I was buzzing. I was buzzing. I invited all my customers from my local town. I invited a couple of team members that I already had. We had tasters, we had flyers. I was sat there on Saturday morning, like six foot tall, ready to rock. 10 o'clock start, it was 11, nobody turned up. <laughs> what am I doing? That was going through my head. What am I doing? Just wasting my Saturday morning. Is this business really for me? What, 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 what's going on? Jay went, don't worry, put another one on. I'll come down this time and I'll support it. So we did it again in a different town. And we had 40 people in the room. 40 people! I was like, yes! I've made it, I've done it! <laughs> I had it. <laughs> but I was on my way. I was on my way. So, uh, you can't really see that picture, but um, actually, everyone who's in that picture, there's only one person who's still in the business left, and that's Rachel, Rachel Allen, END. Everyone else, gone. See ya. So the person that gets you to STD, or the, or the team, will not be the team that get to SC. Will not be the team that get to SSC. Will not be the team to get your QNMD, NMD. All you can do is help and inspire and support. That's all you can do. If they want to leave, they don't see the bigger picture like I didn't, but you've tried, then all you can do is just go next. <laughs> On to the next person. There's plenty.